we're gonna give you guys a little bit of insight of the kind of work it takes when your business is between the half a million to 800,000 mark. So I just got done working a full day. I left the house at 6.20. It's about 4.30, 4.40 right now. We just finished our commercial day. I got the ramp rack back here on the F-250, loaded up with all kinds of tree debris because at the commercial stop we had today, there's a large tree that fell. We had to take care of that. And then we got rained out on our last service, so we had to make up the labor hours from them. So there's a ton of debris. We spent 12 hours blowing this place down. Really big property, takes a lot of work. So I've been out here working all day. I'm still on the field with all the guys. The difference now is that even though we're done with this job for the day, I still have work to go do. So being that I live in the middle of the woods, I have little to no internet connection at home. So every week that we get done with this place, I come out here so I can use the Wi-Fi and get my computer work done. That's Panera behind me. So I'll spend one to two hours over here sending out a service follow-up for the place that we just completed, letting them know everything that was done, the work orders that were completed. Anyone who called in through the call service today while I was working, I will send them a follow-up email to let them know, hey, I can reach out to you today. I'll get with you tomorrow. Here's a fo follow-up email just to know that I saw that you called in and we're gonna get you taken care of. And then if there's any estimates I have to send out, I'm gonna send those out. There's forms I gotta go and complete. So I gotta set up a job application form on my website. That has to be um, created and embedded into my website. So I'll be with my web designer, I'll send that over to him so he can go ahead and embed that for me just because I usually don't mess with that stuff. I have to make another form for guys to use on the project-based work that we're doing now. And then there's a handful of other customers that I just have to follow up with and the emails in general. So I got to do all this computer work and then I get to go home. It's a lot of work, guys. This is probably one of the toughest areas to be in your business because you're out here in the field working. You're also having to do all the estimates all the follow-up and the admin work really begins to scale up. You start having to add hours and hours and on. Luckily, I have Service Autopilot, which automates a lot of things. I have a call service, so that takes a lot of backload. But even with those having in place, all the automations I run, having basically a virtual assistant, I still have probably 10 hours a week of admin work that has to be done. So a little insight for you guys of what to expect this stuff doesn't go away. You still have to go out and give estimates at the end of the day. You're basically a working GM, working business owner, until you reach the point to where you can hire on a non-revenue producing employee, which is my next step next spring. I, so I got my notebook with me. I'm gonna go hop into Panera. Oh, and the reason why I have this notebook is everything that goes in here that needs to be taken care of gets written down in here. So when I go to sit down and do my computer work, I don't miss or forget anything. It's a good tactic to use, a good mental hack. As business owners, we have way too many things on our mind that we have to constantly remember. You need some way to record it. This is how I do it. Time to go put this work in, guys. Catch you later.